assistance I'm going to show you guys the new evolving super 6k6 amplifier we're not in a police radio anymore now it's in a realistic tuner so in this video I'll show you how this was constructed I'll give you a test using oscilloscope so you can see the tremolo action and then we're gonna have a live demo so the 6k6 is growing soon it'll be a kit Okay, here it is guys, the latest Super 6K6 amplifier, now built in a different cabinet. You remember in the past, I had them built in those Lafayette police radios. Well, I decided to retrofit this realistic tuner. So it has the same control lineup, same circuitry as the Lafayette unit. But what did this start out as? These units were made for realistic back in the late 1950s by a Japanese company. I think it may have been Trio. I'm not sure. All right, what I'm gonna do now is flip these around. You can see the before and after, and then we'll take a look at the new wiring of the 6K6 in the Realistic Tuner. I've already removed the top cover and bottom panel for your viewing pleasure. So this is a untouched unit. Still even has some dust in there. You can see there's quite a bit going on on this chassis. But when you get ready to retrofit it, you're pretty much going to strip it all out, including the power transformer. Because unfortunately, this power transformer does not have the amount of output you need to drive an amplifier. So it's got the 115 volt winding but the high voltage section is only 125 volts and then you do have the 6.3 filament so this original transformer would probably be good to retrofit a hot chassis radio so it wouldn't shock you I'm, I'm sure it would fit that application but it will not work for the retrofit of the guitar amp so let me pan over here and you can see the new chassis layout so because of that this new design was a total rebuild. I didn't reuse anything besides the chassis and the cabinet to give you that vintage look, right? So this is a modern power transformer now, but everything else in here is the same as the Lafayette design that I did in the past. All right, let's take a look bottom side. So here is the original FM tuner wiring. This has not been interrupted yet. I will be gutting this out because I do plan on reproducing another of these 6K6 amps in this cabinet. Okay, so now I'll pan over to the new build. You can see things are quite a bit different. Okay, like I say, this was a complete build, nothing was reused, so I was able to strip this chassis. And the beauty of this chassis was, if you look, it's really clean. Everything came right out of this, and I was able to reuse the tube sockets on this side of the chassis for my tremolo tube and the preamp. I still had to recess the 6K6 to clear the top of the cabinet. But she came together really well. Let me give you a different view of the top side, and you can see the arrangement. One thing I did need to point out, you can see the filter caps are down here now rather than one the chassis mount style like I did on the Lafayette. Reason for that is the Lafayette already had the hole in the bracket, so I reused that. Didn't have that luxury here, but when we go top side, you'll also see why I kept the power supply caps down here. Alright, back side comparison. They had these RCA jacks, power came in here, and this was for the antenna. I had to remove all that, of course, and put in a filler plate on the new chassis. So now our power goes in where it did, but these three holes were utilized for other purposes. This is my chassis mount fuse holder, power switch, and speaker output jack. Here's my output tube, which is recessed. Okay, 
because we needed it to go under that top panel. She just makes it 12AX7 preamp input and here is our little 6AB6 tremolo tube. I still use the PT31 output transformer and the power transformer is actually a custom made unit that I had done years ago for the shop. This is about a 450 volt center tap transformer. I'll cut to the schematic so you guys can review that. You'll see it's almost identical to the Lafayette except for the higher voltage of this transformer and a different biasing resistor on the 6K6. Alright, let's give this thing a quick bench test. Alright, at this point let me cut to the schematic because I know a lot of you guys like to see that. It's actually pretty much identical to the Super 6K6 Lafayette HA520 schematic. Same deal, your basic input circuit to the 12AX7 which feeds the grid of the 6K6. Single-ended Class A design. The tremolo circuit is standalone and it can be actually modulized. So if you wanted to build this amp and not use it, you could and it could always be easily added in the future. Very basic design and what I'd like to do is make this to where it can be installed into any cabinet of your choice so that you're not relying on finding an antique radio to modify. So here is a functional test of the Super 6K6 in the realistic tuner. So the output of the amp is going into a dummy head using an audio generator as input. And we've got the old oscilloscope watching the output, so let me bring up the volume. So there's the volume, there's my tone, and if we hit the magic red button, there's our tremolo. Very deep responsive tremolo. This is going direct to the grid of the 6K6, and that circuitry was actually derived from the early Princeton amps. Okay, So if you guys are familiar with the Princeton, you're familiar with the sound of this tremolo. All right, now it's time to listen to it as being played by my blues guy, Tony Guzmano. <laughs> Thank 
project at this point, what I'm trying to do is evolve the 6K6 build so that you don't have to rely on finding an old police radio and reuse the chassis and the transformer, etc. because those are hard to find. So the new design can go into pretty much anything you want. You can pick an old radio, you can build yourself a combo amp with a new chassis, okay? So what D-Lab is up to is developing this into a kit form with very clear instructions so that you can build your own Super 6K 6 amplifier. Mm -hmm.